Hello, this is Alan Elliott, and this is Tutorial 11, SAS Character Functions. In this tutorial, we'll look at several SAS character functions that are commonly used to manipulate text in SAS. These functions are essential when you need to extract information from text values, create new text values from several pieces of information, or to clean up text values to make them usable for your analysis. The first function we'll look at is the cat family of functions, as you can see listed here. The CAT function concatenates text without removing leading or trailing blanks. CAT S removes leading and trailing blanks, and CAT T removes trailing blanks. So whichever uh, version you need is the one you should use. Here are a couple examples. Uh, here is result is equal to cat and then George and Washington. Notice that it returns George and then the space in Washington because there's a space before Washington in the uh, cat function. Notice the space between the quote and the W. Now if we do the same thing with a cat S uh, function result equal cat S of George Washington, notice that it removes that blank and so you get no blank between the two names. The cat X function is a little different. It removes the leading and trailing blanks but inserts a separator between the concatenated components. For example, in, in this uh, cat X uh, use where we have George and Washington, notice the separator being the colon there, and so it returns the value George colon Washington. The find function allows you to find an instance of text within some other text. Uh, the start value is optional, indicating where to start looking for uh, the text uh, that you're looking for. For example, if I have result equal find, and I have A, B, C, D, E, F, and then D, E, F as the text to find, and I, uh, it returns the value 4 because D, E, F begins at the fourth character of A, B, C, D, E, F, and the case is ignored because of the I. I means to ignore the case. So uh, if no match is found, then the value of 0 is, deterred, is returned. So if you don't use I and use T, uh, then uh, it will ignore blanks, for example. In the scan function, uh, the scan uh, returns the nth word in a text expression. For example, if I say scan of John Smith, comma 1, comma blank, blank being the delimiter, it looks in John Smith, finds the blank between John and Smith, and says uh, it's and returns the word John as the first word. If I have John Smith with a 2, same thing, it returns the Smith because Smith is the second word. The substring function searches for and replaces text. Here are a couple of examples. Here I have substring of Lincoln, 3 and 2. This means to uh, look uh, in the word Lincoln starting with the third uh, letter, which is an N, and continuing on uh, to a second letter. So it returns NC, N being the one it began with, and then capturing two letters NC. Now what if we put the substring function on the left side of the equal sign? Then what that does is it replaces whatever you have on the right side in the, in the second example, the XX. It replaces that value uh, in Lincoln. So again, starting with the N, where the N is, it's going to replace two characters with XX because of the information on the right-hand side. So we, uh, the return is LIXX. The verify function uh, allows you to verify uh, text, uh, that there is certain text uh, in a, uh, in a uh, source that you're looking for. So for instance, verify 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then 5, 4, 3, 0, 1. Uh, what it does is it returns a 2 because the character 2 uh, in the list of possibilities, the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, uh, doesn't match any character in the second argument. So 2 is the first unmatching uh, character, and so uh, the uh, value returned is 2. Let's do a hands-on exercise using the find and substring function. Enter this code, as you see below, starting with data BP, uh, and then we're going to uh, pause and let you run it, and you're going to get the answer 
down here in the bottom left-hand corner. But let me go through it first. Notice the uh, you're reading in some uh, blood pressure values, 120 slash 80, and so forth. And what you want to do is you want to extract the 120, the systolic blood pressure, from this character value. So what you're going to do is first find out where the slash is using the find function, and then uh, call it i, and then use the substring function to uh, extract uh, from character 1 through i minus 1, and therefore you're going to capture uh, the values that are the uh, systolic blood pressure. So pause here, enter this code, and get it to run, and then return. Let's continue this exercise uh, by adding another line to the code, and that is we want to find the second number in the, in the uh, blood pressure, the diastolic blood pressure, DBP. Uh, we're going to use the substring function again, this time to extract the second number out of the code or the data. So uh, notice here we're going to say substring BP and then I plus 1 because it's going to extract beginning at the I plus 1 uh, column and then for however long the line is. So it, the result is going to be it will extract the last piece of information. So um, go ahead and enter this code, pause, and when you get it running, uh, then return, and you'll, you should get the information shown below in the bottom uh, right-hand corner. There are some other useful functions uh, in SAS. One is dequote, which removes quota quotation marks from the text. Uh, the index function, which searches text for a specified text-defined string, and returns a number where the string begins or a zero if there is no string found. Uh, the length returns the length of a text string. Lowcase and upcase are helpful to convert letters to lowercase or uppercase. And this is helpful when you have data that is inconsistent and you want to fix it by making it all lower or all uppercase. And also the trim function which removes trailing blanks from text. There are many other useful character functions available in SAS. Check Appendix B for more examples. And that's the end of tutorial 11. Our next topic will be special functions.